24 F my BF 25 M of 3 years cheated on me with my mum 52 F. I'm sorry if this is jumbled, I'm on my phone and in total shock right now. I'm an only child that was bought up by my mum alone my dad left before I was born. I love well, love my mum to bits, she's done so much for me and sacrificed everything so I could have a good education and a happy life. I met my boyfriend when we were in university. We're both each other's first everything first kiss, first s time will experience, first relationship. I love again, well, loved him with all my heart. I truly believed we would be together forever. We moved in together two years ago and our relationship has been practically perfect since then. We never fight, and he makes me feel like a princess every time I'm with him. This morning he woke up and went to have a shower. He left his phone on the bedside table, and when it vibrated I simply picked it up to check what the notification was for I wasn't snooping, it was just habit to check it out when the sound went off. I honestly did not believe what I was reading. It was a text from my mum saying something along the lines of, I hope your morning wood is as good as your afternoon wood. Obviously I freaked out and went into his phone I know his pin code. They had been basically estimating for around a fortnight. Pics, stories of what they do to each other, and worst of all reflection on an afternoon they spent together. I honestly can't remember what the text specifically said. Once I read them I locked his phone and bolted downstairs into our other bathroom. I pretty much just sat in the shower and sobbed until he left for work. Once he did, I threw on some clothes, grabbed my phone, purse, etc., and drove to a quiet nearby park which is where I am now bawling my eyes out. I have no idea what to do. These were the two most important people in my life. I have pretty much no friends here. All of my extended family live overseas. I'm so heartbroken. Please help me. Update, 24F my BF 25M of 3 years cheated on me with my mum 52F. So after having some time to think about the situation, I decided that if my mum and my BF were sympathetic about their actions, I could forgive them and move on with them in my life. Just kidding. First of all I want to thank all of you for your extremely kind and reinforcing replies. I read every single one of them and although some were interesting I never expected to receive such amazing support and encouragement from strangers all over the world. I also received dozens of PMs, with some even offering me a place to stay or simply someone to rant to. I can't thank you all enough. You made me see that I will be okay after all of this is said and done, and for that, our relationships, you have my eternal gratitude. Also thanks to the guy that asked if I was interested in a tea resum, appreciate it. A fair bit has happened since I put up my post a couple of days ago, but I'll try to keep it as brief as I can. After 3-4 hours of reading your replies, I decided that I'd drive home and grab some essential items before my BF got home from work and stay a few nights at our local motel. A few of you suggested that the texts I saw may have not been from my mother, but I'm 99% sure that the pictures I saw in the texts were of her plus I was far too scared to face my BF or mum to double check. By the time I got home it was getting fairly late so I tried to grab what I could before my BF arrived. Unfortunately, as I was looking for my laptop I heard his car pull into our driveway. At this point I practically just grabbed what I could and tried to get the hell out of there I really did not want to see him ever again. I got down the stairs and he opened the door. I'm not really sure what happened, I just started bawling my eyes and screaming, harder than I had been all day, and booked it for the door. He stopped me as I was trying to get past, but I told him to leave me alone and that I'd be back later that night. He did, surprisingly, and I got in my car and drove off. I mentioned in some comments in my last post that I was sort of friends with the lady who owned our local motel. I was good friends with her sister when we went to high school, and I was sure that after I explained myself she could get me a room to spend a few nights in. I pulled over and rung her up. And whilst trying to convey to her what happened I just started crying hysterically. She went above and beyond what I ever expected anyone would. She offered me a room in her own house for free, 
and told me I could take as long as I needed. Since then I've basically gone between sleeping and crying, and only left my room to eat and go to the toilet. I am in extreme gratitude to her though, the support I've received in general over the past two days has been staggering. I turned off my phone last night but I know my BF was blowing it up. I didn't look at any messages or missed calls, but I saw that the notifications were there when I went to turn it off. He'll have no idea that I'm here though, so I guess it's nice to know that I can take a little while to recover without him finding me. I didn't mention this earlier, but my BF was the only one on our lease. I'm currently unemployed whilst he has a fairly well-paying job, so hopefully that'll make everything a little easier. As for my mom, I'm pretty much done with her. I plan to move across the country to find a job interstate once I've gotten all of my stuff, and basically never talk to either of them again. As I said, I still need to get all of my belongings from my BF's place, which is going to be tricky without seeing him. I'm not sure how to go about that and I guess I'm looking for suggestions. As for me, I'm doing okay. Right now I still can't believe that any of this is happening. Sleep is my only source of comfort right now as it allows me to forget all of this is going on, but when I'm awake I can't shake the feeling of dread and constant sickness. But, again, all of you gave me the strength to know that this will get better, it just can't come soon enough. Again, thank you all so much for your words of encouragement. Hopefully I can get my stuff with no troubles or dramas, and update you all when I begin my new life without my mom and my ex. Update 224 F my BF 25 and of 3 years cheated on me with my mom 52 F. A lot of you asked for an update so I felt as though it'd be rude of me not to after all the help you've all given me. Two weeks ago I notified my ex BF that I knew what was going between he and my mom, and that I'd be coming over to collect my things. He responded straight back saying that he was so sorry, it was mistake, and that he was going to KLL himself for what he did. They found him dead in our old bedroom the next morning after he didn't show for work. I don't really know what else to say. I suppose I can post another update in some time after everything becomes clearer. Right now I just lie in bed all day watching TV. I'm sorry this is so short, I'm not sure what else to put here. Thank you all for your help, it's been great having some nice things to read over the past weeks. Last update, I'm not sure how many of you remember me, but I logged into this account about 10 minutes ago and have received 50 plus messages in the last month or so with some amazing words of support and even more so, requests for an update. I apologize I've taken so long to update, so much has happened and, although I've kept all your kind words in my heart throughout this time. Updating my Reddit post admittedly wasn't my highest priority. I did, however, post a very short update about a month ago, which was removed. It appears to have been restored since, and the few that have read it will know that my ex-BF committed suicide when I informed him that I knew about he and my mum's relationship. To say that the last two months or so have been hard would be the biggest understatement of all time. My life has completely changed and I am now a 100% different person. After my ex passed I went into hiding, I practically didn't leave Andrea's motel lady house for 2-3 weeks, and will wholeheartedly admit suicide crossed my mind multiple times. About a fortnight ago I decided to follow what I previously said I was going to do, and drop my life in Victoria and move up north to a different state. I've settled in a neat, tidy little inland town in NSW, and am right now staying in my car but am in the process of getting an approval for a cheap apartment. Overall, things are okay, I've handed in my CV to some local supermarkets and whatnot and have enough money to last me a good amount of time. As for my mom, Andrea took care of the business with her. I decided pretty early on that I didn't want to contact her or my ex ever again, and I'm not sure how I'd react if I ever saw her. My emotions as of late have been surprisingly good. Over the last few weeks my sadness has transformed to anger, which in turn has transformed to motivation. I actually feel excited when I wake up in the morning, because I know a completely new chapter of my life is beginning, and I am totally free to dictate how it is written. 
Some days are harder than others, but I realize that I can't let my ex-BF and my mum's actions domineer my own life. I at least hope that if anyone reading this right now is struggling in any way, or perhaps elking the motivation to get out of bed some mornings, to please keep fighting through. Life is in a shoal sometimes and it can throw curveballs that change your whole landscape completely, but you can get through it, and come out the other side a stronger, healthier, and better person. Thank you all so much for your help and kind words, your support has gotten me through when I needed it the most. I promise to continue fighting and pressing on for a better life for myself, I don't want your encouragement to be in vain. 20. 